and welcome back to another installment of whatever I want to call this. I haven't given, given it a name yet. Anyway, the goal is to... The goal is to show off programming languages that are specifically made for making music or sound processing or whatever. I want more people to make music with computers and not just with already made software. I want the software to be made by the people. Why? Eh, it's a dream of mine. So anyway, this is the Chuck programming language uh, created by Ge Wang and others. So, too many people to name that I guess helped out. Anyway, um, this code is based off of the first three chapters of a book I read, the programming for musicians and digital artists. Um, I'm not sure if that's the correct title. I'm, I'm known for getting book titles wrong. So, here it is. Uh, this is based, a little simple code, like I said, from the based off the first three chapters of the book, as well as some code that I found on the internet by a guy who is actually porting. He's trying to port the Chuck language into JavaScript so that browsers can play sounds uh, straight from straight from the browser. So you would go to the web page, press play, and then your browser would generate the sound on the fly. It's pretty cool, I think. And it's something I've always wanted to see done, and I'm, I'm glad to see somebody's working on that. So, looking at the code here, it looks pretty standard, except for a few things like the Chuck operator here. It's essentially the same as assignment, but it's made to look like an arrow, and it's works from right to left so this is being sent to here which is being sent to here anyway I have this little these comments just blocking off exact what um different parts of the the code but it's still pretty disorganized it's not that big of it's not that big of a code but I just want to show off a, a very simple little thing that you could do with Chuck and still make it sound like a complex piece of music. Anyway, here goes. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So that's, you know, a pretty, pretty simple code. And as you can see, I had multiple instances of this code running, and, and they all work together. This is, Chuck is, is, supports uh, concurrent, um, concurrent programming so every one of those shreds is essentially a, a new process so you can run the code as much as you want um, for how, however you see fit I'm on a Windows machine so if it exceeds a certain amount of the gain it'll start to distort but you get the picture you can pretty much do anything you want with this stuff and I hope this kind of whets your appetite and gets you to look into this language some more. Until next time, I will be seeing you guys, or not seeing you really.